here we have a level 2 formula question. So if we just read through, Kamrul works for a taxi company. He uses this formula to work out fares. And this formula says you do £2.40 plus 1.5 times the distance travelled in kilometres. Kamrul needs to work out a fare for a distance of 4.5 miles. He uses the conversion 1 mile equals 1.6 kilometres. Kamrul thinks the fare is £14.57. Is Kamrul correct? Show why you think this. And then at the end, we've got a check as well. Now, I said something in there that's really important. When I said what this formula was, I said that the fare is equal to £2.40 plus 1.5 times the distance travelled in kilometres. The reason why it's times is because when you have a number, like 1.5, next to a letter in a formula like this, it means you times them. Mathematicians are really lazy, so when we get the chance, we take out all the symbols that we can, which means we even took out a times here when there should be one. If it helps, I'll even write down here, this is 1.5 times distance in kilometres. Okay, so the first problem we face when trying to answer this question is that we don't have the distance in kilometres, we only have the distance in miles. However, we are told that one mile is 1.6 kilometres. Well, if, it, if one mile is 1.6 kilometres, one mile is 1.6 kilometres, make sure that's clear that that's miles, one mile is 1.6 kilometres, so two miles would be twice as much, it would be 1.6 times two kilometres. Uh, if we had 10 miles, it would be 1.6 times 10 kilometres, 10 times as much. We don't have 2 miles, we don't have 10 miles, we have 4.5 miles. So all I need to do is to find 4.5 miles is to do 1.6 times 4.5. Another way of thinking about it is that each one of these miles, each one of these 4.5 miles has 1.6 kilometres in it. So 1.6, four and a half times, let's see what that gives us. And let's get rid of some of this. Give me some space. Okie dokie. Ah, ah, good. So we're doing 1.6 times 4.5, 7.2. I'm going to copy that to my working out box. So reminder, what this is, I've turned 4.5 miles into 7.2 kilometres. Now I have D. Now I have the distance travelled in kilometres. Good. Uh, so I can start plugging that into the equation now, into the formula, to work out the fare in pounds. I need to do £2.40 plus 1.5 times, super, super important that times, times the distance travelled in kilometres, which I just worked out is 7.2. Now, before I press equals, I want to say something quite important, which is that your calculator knows bid mass. This calculator on the screen, it knows that it needs to do 1.5 times 7.2. That's the bit it does first and whatever answer the calculator gets, it'll then add on 2.4. If your calculator did not know bid mass, or let's say you did it on paper with a different calculator before writing it onto the exam, which I know some people like to do, you have to be really careful, that's all, that you do this bit first, because you always do multiplication before addition, and then add on the £2.40. Okay? Anyway. Uh, equals 13.2. Sorted. Uh, the fare that he pays for going 4.5 miles is £13.20. I'm adding on a really important zero there because this doesn't mean 13.2, it means £13.20. And that's, that's really important because for currency you always need to give it to two decimal places. Okay, Camerill thinks the fare is £14.57. Is Camerill correct? No, he is not correct because we just worked out that it's £13.20. All right, that's good. Uh, part B, we need to show a check of our working. So I'm going to set this out really clearly, as I like to when we're doing a check. I'm going to write check, just to make it really clear to the examiner that now I'm answering the second part. Now I'm doing the check. To do a check, I like to do a reverse calculation, where I'm going to take something I've done in the working out, take my answer, do the calculation backwards to try and find one of the other numbers I was using. OK, so that's a bit confusing, but what I mean, I'm going to take this 7.2. I'm just picking this part of my working out because it looks quite straightforward. Uh, I'm going to take that 7.2 and it was a times before so now I'm going to do a divide 
and if I divide it by 4.5 my answer should be 1.6 or vice versa if I divide by 1.6 my answer should be 4.5 uh, I'm going to divide by 4.5 and fingers crossed my answer should be 1.6 which it is which is good because that shows that I did the calculation right first time round. Now you've probably just seen that when I press copy to working box it's put it in the wrong place because I had my mouse I, I was clicked in here so when I press copy to working out box that's where it copied it. I've just deleted that, moved the cursor down, copy it to the working out box again good job done. So three, three marks for part one uh, my best guess is that this is your first mark for finding what 4.5 miles is in kilometres. This is your second mark for finding how much he actually costs. And then your third mark is for correctly saying, no, he's not correct. And we've done a reverse calculation to get the mark for part B for checking our answer. Job done. Good stuff.